Hey guys, I'm finally getting around to doing this video and it is probably the video that I have the most requests for and it's how I style my hair. Now I know it doesn't have anything to do with skincare but since requested I figured might as well just do it. That way you all can know because I get a, quite a few comments and messages about it. So first off, let me tell you how I get my hair cut. Um, when you go to the salon it's okay to be a little picky. I like to tell them, you know, which length of clippers to use and also to tell them to use scissors on the top. And I also tell them what kind of product that I use. That way they can get a feel for how I style my hair and what I want the finished product to look like. So normally they'll do the sides here with clippers and I do like a three or four depending on my mood. Um, I don't like too much skin to show through so you can tell them that like, you don't want any skin to show through. And do like a three or four that keeps it pretty nice and long on the sides. Um, I keep my sideburns about in that area, they usually shorten them just a little bit. And then on the top, they use the scissors and they give it a finger cut. Now this is where I tell them, you know, that I style it in kind of like a mo, a faux hawk. And just keep it a little bit longer in the center and then the finished product, my hair will be pushed up in the front. That's important to tell them that because if they cut it like this while it's down, then when you put it up, it'll be too short in the front. So tell them that when you style your hair, you push the front up because then they'll cut it up like that, okay? That's one of the biggest problems that I've had with my haircut, so it's very important, key thing to keep in mind. So yeah, clippers on the side, finger cut at the top, a little bit longer in the center, and then the finished product, I flip it up, that way it's not too short in the front. Now, this is the product that I use. It is American Crew Fiber, and you can get this at your local salon, barbershop it runs about $17 for this bottle of um, pomade fiber thing here this is gonna last a long time like I'd say two or three months because you only need a little tiny bit at a time so it's worth it it's a really great product the um, there's a whole bunch of different colors this one's fiber and it has a matte finish which is very important because shiny hair is out matte hair is in um, so, now how do you use this stuff? It took me a really long time to figure out the perfect way to use it, but now that I know all the secrets, I'll share them with you. First off, almost as important as the product that you use is that you apply it into towel dried hair. That means I just got out of the shower, I towel dried it like this, and it's just slightly damp. It's not wet by any means, but as you can see, it's got a little tiny bit of dampness to it, and that helps your, um, working time with this because if you put this into dry hair I find that it ends up with a shiny finish which is strange and it doesn't have as strong of a hold so when you put it into towel dried hair and it will dry with a matte finish and also the hold will be much better now my hair is a little on the long side right now so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because I haven't styled it in a couple of days but um in my case I'll probably need to finish with hairspray because this stuff has a high hold, but for longer hair, my hair is a little bit thinner than normal. Um, you just need a little bit extra help to finish it up. So this is all you need. That's all I scooped out my one finger. And put it into your hand like so. Rub around. This kind of thins it out and gets it nice and warm and pliable. So now it's on my hands. And then I just use a really light touch and I just run my fingers through my hair. A really, really light touch. And I'm just going all around, as you can see. Back of my hair, kind of do that action. Front of my hair. Since I will have my front sticking straight up, I kind of spend a little more time there. But as you can see, I'm just getting a nice clear coat and teasing it up just a little bit. All right, that's good. If you notice that some pieces are kind of falling down, you can always go back and put a little bit more in that specific area. All right, so as you can see, now my hair is standing straight up. I use my fingers like a comb on the sides and comb, it, comb them forward to give it a little bit of like a forward texture rather than straight down. And then come on top, kind of like a little triangle on the top of your head with your hands. Use that motion. And then from the back, Again, use your hands, fingers like a comb, and comb down the hairs in the back. And then this is important. 
since my hair is kind of up like that, I push it towards the front. So again, it has that forward swooping motion, like a, like a wave almost. You push it forward from the back. And then, this is where it gets a little tricky. Because I always had trouble with these hairs on the side. Sometimes they stick out like that and you have to get them to kind of all go forward in one fluid motion here. Alright, so now um, the way I get everything in the front to kind of go where I want it to, I use a twisting action. So I grab the pieces that are, you know, out of place and I twist them upwards like this. And that kind of helps them all come together as a group and go in the same general direction. And again, your fingers are your tools here, so we're working, working, working. Now you don't have that much time because it does start to dry once you really start playing with it. And as you can see, my hair is long right now, so it's kind of like a big faux hawk. And I'm going to need to put a little bit more in. So let me show you what you do. Just a little tiny bit. That's all you need when you're doing a little bit more. Rub in your hand to kind of spread it out and get it on your fingertips and then just apply it in the places where you need it. Okay. Now one of the final steps that I do, if you notice that it's getting too you know clumped like a to a point, just pick at it and pull up. I need to get a little closer for this one. Now that I have this here you don't want it to be straight up in the front, you kind of want it to have like a swooping motion. So I kind of run my fingers through it and then push down on it, like so. My hair is really long right now, so this kind of looks silly. But I'll probably go get a haircut today, to be honest. But at least I get to show you the general idea here. All right. So, and I'm just going to kind of push it down. That way it's not like um, straight up in the front. It gives it a nice like sideways swoop. <laughs> it's hard to describe. So you see, as you can see from the side, it's kind of like swooping forward and up. Like so. I think it looks halfway decent. Um, I'm just going to finish it off with some hairspray. This is what I have here. This is got to be glued free spray. And the problem with this is it has a very shiny finish, but the hold is insane. It's like, it literally is like spraying like spray adhesive into your hair and it dries instantly. So this is good if you're going to be out at the club, dance all night. Nice. This will keep your hair in place, but it will add a shiny finish and it will kind of make your hair clump more together in like strands. Because like right now it's all kind of just staying up as it is, but once you put a spray in it, it kind of causes everything to group together, if that makes any sense. But it's important because if you're dancing, you're in like a hot, sweaty nightclub, you gotta have this stuff. Um, you can get it at anywhere, pretty much. And it's a pretty big bottle, but it dries quickly, shiny finish, and causes hair to come together a little bit, but I'd say it's worth it because that stuff doesn't hold up very well in the humidity. All right? I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad that I was finally able to do it. And that's it. It's a faux hawk. So enjoy. Take care.